this is a touch of tarot. This is going to be your reading, Aquarius. Let's see what's coming up. I'm going to start by pulling some oracle cards, which we will get into throughout the reading. And then I'm also going to get into tarot and take it to the extended with a different tarot deck. Okay, well, the first card that's showing up, I will say behind that was um, worth waiting for, but just say, right? But anyhow, it's staying optimistic about love, okay? So some of you may be feeling really down about your love life right now, unsure, um, unhappy as well. And they are saying to stay optimistic, to remain positive, and that will bring you romance, okay? So let's see what else is going on. For Aquarius, we have the seven, seven of spirals. That is the seven of wands. Um, this could be a, a difficult situation. You could be looking at the situation that you've put a lot of work into. Um, I don't know. Let's just keep on going. But you could be looking at a situation you put a lot of work into is what I'm getting. And you don't want to put any more work in. Or maybe it's time to actually face a situation because it's almost like this bear is going to be coming out after hibernation um, and seeing what's happened. Has anything changed? That's what I'm hearing. Has anything changed? Let me see. And with the tower here, um, I don't know if anything's changed. This could be in regards to a love situation that you have been wondering what to do in. Um, there could be a financial obligation here as well, I'm seeing. I don't know. It doesn't feel like the best surprise that's coming your way. Um, the world card just came out with the tower. That is about probably um, an ending to a situation or... Are you wanting to release the past? Okay. I feel like when you finally take a good look at this, you're kind of going to be shocked and disgusted. Like it's something you don't want anymore is what I'm getting. I'm even getting the message you want separate home or you want a separate home. Um, yes, there could have been a third party involved. I'm seeing the high, the sorceress, the high priestess and the three of stones. Um, what is that bear about? Let me see. What were you like trying to give space to? To a new beginning or like this is Merlin. This is the fool. You may have walked away from a situation thinking, you know, I'm going to go and do something else and see what happens. Um, I am seeing the hunter, the green man. That's the chariot and the emperor underneath here. Here's a card flipped over. Actually, let's check it out. Yeah, this is that bear again. I really feel like you, Aquarius, were watching someone. Maybe you walked away. Maybe you gave this a break. And I do feel like you coming back out are not going to be very happy um, with what you see. In fact, you may be even more disgusted by it. Let's clarify that tower. Okay, we have the Empress and the Death card. It's over. Um, I don't know. It's really weird. I feel like you go back somewhere and you just come to this eye-opening conclusion that it is over. Look at what's underneath here. We have this chariot continually sticking out. Not sure if that has uh, reverence or reference for. It's a reference for you. And I am keep. I continually see the King of Stones which is the king of pentacles. So like I said, I believe I said there could be money that was involved. But here we have the three of swords. It's over. Unfortunately, I feel like you're not the happiest about that. Um, but it is what it is. Look, it, it's even like this fox, like peeped his head in from the bushes to see what's going on. And it was just saddening. Okay, so what is the two of stones? Because it looks to me as though you're making this decision. Seven of pentacles. It kind of came in reverse. Doesn't really matter. It's to be on your own. I actually think that this is a bit of a sad situation, Aquarius. I think that you walked away from a situation. I'm just going to say what I think here. If you walked away from a situation. You took your space from it. Um, I'm seeing the King of Cups, King of Swords energy here. Ah. 
So you may have walked away from a situation of a king of swords, because that's on the bottom, hoping that there would be some sort of a realization or adjustment, maybe hoping that this person would be that king of cups again one day, um, or would even come chasing you. And no, none of these kings are even on a horse. This guy's standing beside his horse, I'm not doing much. And so anyhow, you came back out of your hibernation or back from your trip or whatever it is, your break, and you realized it's over. You may have even came with an offer and this person said no. Now, Aquarius, for some of you, I think you're wishing you never walked away in the first place. But you had to see what you had to see, okay? You had to get that information. So, like, I just feel like some of you are very sad and by this. Like, damn, you know, healing here is needed. The golden flower. Yeah, I'm just, like, hearing an Aquarian say, is this real? Are you kid? Like, I don't know if you're saying, are you kidding me? That's something I would say with the energy I'm picking up. But, like, is this real? Is this really happening? Is it over just like that? But I mean, why did you walk away with the seven of wands? Like, oh, we have the ace of scrolls here. You may have found something out that's already flipped over there. You may have found something out. You may have been mad. You may have left. But why did you walk away? I think you did find something out. And I think it hurt you. So you wanted to see what would happen. I think it was actually whatever you found out. Could have been about cheating. I'm seeing judgment and the king of wands sticking out. Um, but I almost get, and you could have been with a long-term partner, but I almost get, it was like your worst nightmare. I also almost get that you didn't speak on this. Did you? Did you know it? What was that about? The ace of stones? Maybe not. Maybe you just like, Look at the third party, Ace of Mirrors. It's an Ace of Cups. Um, maybe not. Maybe you just went in hiding. Look at it. There's hiding here. So you could watch with this energy to get the information you need. This watching energy here with this, this bear. I don't think you like what you saw. Okay. So where are you going to go now, Aquarius? What's your plan? Let's see what's coming out here. So we have the three of wands. This is definitely an energy of planning to move on. Um, kind of checking your options, kind of still watching. You know, this is still a watching energy, making your plans to leave. You may not be speaking up about what's going on or what you've seen. You may just be planning your departure. Okay. Um, look at the devil. From this third party. Oh my gosh, the lovers. You know what's been going on behind closed doors is what I just heard. Um, I'm seeing, you know, this night energy again. You know what's going on. I just feel like you don't really want to face it, talk about it, share it. You just want to leave. Um. It's very possible, okay? So how are you going to do this? Or, or when is love going to come in for you? Because that's the question. When is love going to come in? Stay optimistic is there for a reason. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune could be there for a reason as well. It could just be as, you know, this is what I just got. That when this love does come in, this person's going to want to keep you. They're going to want to lock you down. They're... Um, they're going to be better than expected, okay, or than you imagine. Oh, wow. So we have a king of stones and a queen of spirals. So a king of pentacles and the queen of wands. It's interesting because we have the ten of wands here, and I was just saying they're going to want to lock you down. Some of you may have a very fiery, passionate energy to you, so you will relate to that message, but this is like they're locking this little cub up in in this, you know, all these, all these scrolls. Um, but I do feel like whoever is going to come in, when they do come in, it's a little bit unexpected. There has to be an ending first. This, this tree stump has to go to allow this fresh growth in. 
but it could be a great match, which is really cool. Okay. So Aquarius, I'm going to, oh, wait, we have some cards here. I was about to, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. A little messy. <laughs> it may not be easy. It may be a little messy, a little unexpected, but look at you have within the next few months. And look at that. First of all, that energy of love, self-love, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to find, feel joy. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Okay, Aquarius. So I'm moving over to Patreon. If you want to join me, I would love that. And if you're going to exit here part ways here, that's absolutely fine. I appreciate your subs and your likes for the video if you got anything from it. Also, let me know where you're from because I love reading that. I always say that. I just love it. Okay, and I'm moving on. Thank you so much. I hope you got something from this. If you're on here, I'm really appreciative. And I hope I say that enough so that you know that. Okay, bye guys.